Good evening. Welcome to the 1982 college football season. This is Larry Munson and Paul Schaefer and the regular crew and the dogs and comes in the one you waited for, apparently, judging by a million phone calls, all summer long has finally arrived. It may be on the wrong night at the wrong time and it may be on national television, but the night has finally arrived. To say there's a little bit of blood pumping and adrenaline here is putting it mildly. Well, got the picture now, Clemson, all in white tops, white bottoms, orange numerals, orange helmets, and they'll kick off. And the dogs in the red with the silver britches, and of course, red helmets, white numerals, down red, and here's 82 football. What a goofy time to start it on a Labor Day night. Igwe victory will kick off. Bookie said this one is dead even because Georgia has too many hurt. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? I just want to say that uh, Herschel Walker is the picture of composure on the sideline down here. Uh, he has a cast, which is a flexible cast. The technical name is Plasticite and Celastic. But I think the decision still is not to play Herschel Walker. Uh, the door has been cracked for the possibility of his play, but right now I'd say it looks like that uh, he won't play. But if things get real tough, uh, I'm sure the coaches and uh, the doctors have agreed at what point he can be used, if any. Ball is spotted on the six and a half. Way down, six and a half to go. It's actually six for a first down, six and a half for a touchdown. Comes and spits two to the right and one to the left. Dogs are in a four three. Jordan fakes and runs it toward the middle for a touchdown. Homer Jordan faked and ran a little squint toe right up the middle. Nobody touched him at all. And George has got seven men on the line, but three men back this time. Hatcher has a man rushing it, block the kick. It's bouncing around in the air, and George has got it. Touchdown, touchdown. Georgia 47, late in the half with 89 seconds. The man out to the right, slot left quickly this time. Jordan coming back, they're chasing him behind the line. They put pressure on him, intercepted on the 35-yard line by young Tony Flack coming across, knocked down on the 40. The kid out of North Carolina. Tony Flack out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Forts the linebacker, Jimmy Payne to tackle. Had strong pressure on Homer Jordan. And young Tony Flack intercepted. Mitch Fick's going to snap it. Broadway will hold on the 29. They're on an angle to this side, south side of the field. Comes has got seven men on the line. Butler going to try a field goal. They set it down. Keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on it. It is good. Ten to seven. Nine seconds in the half. Oh, last thing you're going to bring him up there. He splits two men out. And comes is in a five, kind of a five, four spread wide. Lashinger coming after the left side looking. Dumps it over. It's completed at 35. He broke the tackle. Fires K 45, 50, 45, 30, 35, 30. Down the sideline, 20 of the second out of bounds on the 22. Fires K broke the tackle and got 30 more yards. Shoved out down around the 22, 22 and a half. Lashinger hit the tight end. Dogs trying to go for another field goal. Comes in with seven men on the line. Butler sticks it up there, and the kick is good. Georgia leads 13 to 7. 
Clemson at the first down, half the length of the football, we're up on the 38. Clemson trying to drive, a lot of time, 8.32 to play, they're only six points down. Dobbs are in a 4-4, Homer Jordan's got three wide outs this time, sitting up there on his 38, and he sprints to the right, he pitches it off to a tailback, and somebody blitzed and caught him. Jimmy Payne blew in. Jeff McCall, the fullback, was going to throw a halfback pass. Stock still is split in and gone down the right. He puts it to McCall, the fullback, but Jimmy Payne, the big tackle, came flying in there, and the loss was seven yards back to the 31 where his knee hit the ground. 